In this video, we are going to walk through the flow of how a registry can report data as well as make an election for an opt-in eligible participant. The first thing we're going to do is navigate to the qpp.cms.gov site and sign in. Using our credentials, I'm going to enter our user ID as well as the password and click on yes, I agree that all data being submitted is true, accurate, and complete. Once I've successfully logged in, I will land on the overview page, letting me know the choices that I have within the system. Because we are going to report data, we're gonna click on the Start Reporting button, which will take us to our reporting overview page. This user is associated with virtual groups and regular groups, as well as the registry. For the registry user, we're gonna click on the Registry tab and then click on Start Reporting. The registry dashboard is the first item you'll see where you can see that no data has been submitted yet. At this point, we are gonna click on Upload Files. Gonna browse, find the files that we wish to upload. Then from here, I'm going to click Upload. One of the participants that I am reporting for is opt-in eligible, but has not had a designation made. In order for this file to be processed, a designation must be made, otherwise the file will not be accepted. Our options are either to report voluntarily or to opt in. Opting into the program will result in the participant becoming eligible, which will result in a final score as well as a payment adjustment being awarded to that participant. Voluntary will give you feedback on your submission, but will not result in a final score or a payment adjustment. You can see on the side that for the participants that are opt-in eligible, no decision has been made. And once I change my status, it will update the information on the sidebar. By confirming the selection, I want to change those participants to opting into the program. Once I click confirm, you can see that the decision has been successfully made. And at this point, I can continue reporting. One of the files that I uploaded did contain an error. You can see it was not processed successfully. If we wanted to look into more detail of what was wrong with the file, we could download the report and then potentially re-upload. By clicking View Submissions, we'll now be able to see the information that was submitted within each one of the files. As with previous years, the information is broken out by category as well as by the submission data for the TIN or TIN NPI within the submission. 